Literally, he's a bit shorter than I am. But who are you calling short? You know, why don't you go back to France? Well, today we're having two actors that have come to us from the East Coast, and they are portraying Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson. If there's one thing I want, is that union, strength as one nation, where the majority must always rule, but the minority have their rights as well, and to violate them would be tyranny. So they kind of debate back and forth their different views, certain things that they agree on. It's not the individual states that are important, it is the nation as a whole. Yes, I see you nodding, I'm correct? Thank you, Your Excellency. But General <laughs> Washington, you remember when you had the Declaration of Independence read to your troops? Yes, of course, of course, you remember it well. It totally brought it to life, it was great. It reviewed a lot of stuff we've already learned, um, and I got to also see a lot of their personal thoughts on everything. We learned that Jefferson doesn't really like the plan of the National Bank, and he wants like the states to have the central power instead of like the federal government. And so we needed a manner in which to collect taxes, and then to be able to pay off those debts. And so, of course, we need a national bank. That means the federal government participates in private business and competes with private individuals, private banks. That's very far outside of the powers given to it by the Constitution. It made me appreciate U.S. history government more. And I love history. I really want to bring history alive for my students. And I thought the kids would really enjoy just seeing the interactions, the debates. I think I'm winning them over here. Yeah. Alexander Hamilton just like knew what he was going to say and just said it. Well, no wonder people call you a monarchist. <laughs> I am not a monarchist. Well, many people believe that you are. Well, many people believe in it still does not make me a monarchist. Thomas Jefferson grew up a different lifestyle, so he had different opinions on everything, and the way he stated his opinions was really good. We were able to do what we did because we knew what had come before us. We learned the mistakes and the successes, studied them, and made a plan based on what we had studied. It was cool to see how they handled it like back then versus like all the political stuff like going on now. One's words, one's ideas, uh, and pass that on to, one's, to the future generation. It, it's vital. Every generation is just as able to do what we did, if not more so because they're standing on our shoulders, looking further than us.